Can you turn that alarm off? I'm trying to sleep. How could anyone expect me to sleep in my own bed when it's completely buried underneath all my work stuff? Uh, maybe try taking responsibility for your mess instead of dragging everyone else into it! This might help. Take it. Pepper spray can keep even the most aggressive annoyance at arm's length. What exactly are you trying to say? As if barging in... I have to figure out a way to keep him out of my room. Maybe I just need to get a big guard dog. Huh. Oh man, I'd love to have a dog. <laughs> We weren't allowed to have pets at our apartment. Whoa, how's that for a coincidence? Oh, I bet keeping a puppy your size in my room would be no trouble at all. Uh, I should stop kidding myself. Cleaning up after Monica and a pet would be more trouble than I can handle. I'm sure someone really great is gonna adopt you. Maruka, would you care to explain this? Well, that's a kitten. <laughs> Hello, this is Keiichiro, and I'm afraid he's brought in another cat. I'm not sure where he found a kitten. I would say it's about a month old and male. He's a black short hair, one white paw and blue eyes. Yes, it's very cute. Thank you again for your help, and we'll see you soon. I have to ask... How many more times must we go through this? You aren't allowed to bring cats into this home. You know you're severely allergic. It's been crying in the garden since yesterday. I couldn't just ignore it. Yes, well, if you try to rescue every stray with a sob story, you'll end up in the hospital. I can't believe you're being so selfish, Cage. You know, this kitten needs me. <sighs> what should I do? Stay strong. Just go downstairs and talk him into it. One look at that sweet face and he'll give in. Please go away! I'm on borrowed time here! Oh, am I kidding? That'll never work. Okay, I'm sure it's gonna be just fine. I can keep you up here until I find someone who wants to adopt you. Keiichiro took my kitty away. The only choice I have is to use you as a substitute until my grief subsides. Oh, I'm feeling better already. You're the cutest little ding. So tell me, you really like cats, don't you? Yeah. And dogs too? Beasts from hell! If you so much as look at them wrong, they'll turn vicious and attack you! Someone help! He's gonna eat me! I can't figure out why such malicious animals aren't locked away in the city zoo. Huh? I'll huh? go start the tea. Wait, could you put this on first? Sorry, my apartment doesn't allow pets. Our cat's like a hundred, so it's probably not the best idea. We would take him, but we have three dogs already. Mm. When'd you get so interested in finding homes for stray animals? You probably should have just kept walking. Now you're stuck with it when someone would have taken it home eventually. I couldn't just leave it like that. I didn't know what else to do. I hope you at least found a good hiding spot for it. It's in my room. You are kidding, right? If your uncle finds out, he'll send the poor thing straight to the pound. <gasps> Is it just me, or has Chihiro been acting off lately? I can't say I've noticed anything. It seems his mind is someplace else. I put those catters on him yesterday, he didn't bat an eye. He may still be adjusting to all the changes. I wish I knew how to get him to open up about his feelings, you know? Hey, I'm home! Hmm? Chihiro, you're home quite early to... Hmm. <laughs> you're still here! Such a good boy. Not another animal. <laughs> All right, then. Have you found it a home? Not yet. I'll see what I can do. Though, my network of pet adopters consists mainly of cat lovers. But we have to start somewhere. Really? Well, I'm grateful you told me the truth. Uh now it'll be easier for me to help you with this. Sorry, should have said something sooner. <laughs> There's someone else who might deserve an apology. Um, uh, I'm sorry for not asking your permission. Did you hear me? Uh. Wait, Maru! 
のかそう、I have no 
choice but to call you Antero! <laughs> and just like that, he had found himself an owner. Whoa. A happy ending. I bet you're still kind of bummed that you couldn't keep it, though. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think Monica was handling the stress very well. <laughs> He probably felt like he was trapped inside a haunted house. Considering how he's scared of dogs, it was really cool he let you keep the puppy in the house while you look for a new owner. Uh. That was pretty cool. I don't even remember taking the time to say thank you. I said no. I'm not going anywhere, and that's final. You can pout all you want, but the arrangements have already been made. It would be in bad taste to change them now. I didn't even know about this. Feign ignorance, but I confirmed all this with you twice last week. I see you weren't even listening, were you? What's going on in here? Master Monica believes if he whines enough, he won't have to go on this business trip. A business trip? When? Today. Ah! If you have somewhere to go, why are you sitting around here? Stop whining, hurry up, and go change your clothes! Why must you be so cruel to me, Chi? This isn't him. Making a good first impression is essential. I'm being sent away for three whole days, but I want you to know you're going to be just fine. I'll try to find the will to survive without you. I almost forgot. I have something for you. It's a hand-me-down, but it still works. You're giving me a cell phone? <laughs> Always try to keep it with you. You can call me anytime you need, okay? Morning, afternoon, even late at night. I won't call. Now try to relax and do your job. I don't wanna! Goodbye, Chihiro. Thank you for taking care of the house while we're away. Somebody call the police! I'm being taken against my will! I'm all alone. I can't believe how silent this place is when there's nobody around. I feel... So excited to clean without anybody bothering me! I'll start with the drains and ventilation fans in the kitchen. Then I'll wash all the windows on the terrace. They'll be sparkling. Oh, yeah. I can do the curtains and cushions, too. I'm so ready for this. <laughs> so, you're telling me you took a bath and got so busy cleaning afterwards you caught a cold? I got a little carried away. I could have sworn I saw a bit of mold between some of the tiles. I started scrubbing, and before I knew it, it was midnight. Sounds like you. I'm not surprised. You said you'll be on your own a few more days. Should I worry about your sanity? No, I'll be fine. I pushed myself too hard is all. Is there any way you could teach me how to use this thing? A cell phone? Monica gave it to me before he left, but I don't know what to do with it. It hasn't stopped beeping at me since last night. It looks like someone has been sending you messages. First, push this button to go to your... mail. <sighs> Next, you press open. Going to sleep. Good night, sweet child. Heart! I pray you have the sweetest of dreams tonight. Sparkle! Hit this button if you want to reply. If you got something to say, say it! It's not like I want him to baby me! What are you so upset about, you sweet child? Don't call me that! Hey, I'm home! It's kind of weird coming home with nobody here. I'm not used to it being so quiet. <laughs> Could someone please shift that mannequin a little to the right? The fabric really pops in the spotlight. Yes, of course, sir. What a talented young man he is. His hard work is sure to make this bridal fair a huge success. Thank you so much. Always happy to help. I'd be honored if he'd attend the press conference tomorrow. You'll make that happen, won't you? I'll do everything I can, sir. Please excuse me. Oh, sure. Another one? Doesn't he have anything better to do? What a weirdo. <clears throat> so, you know, said just press reply. What's the point of even telling him about it right now? Considering how he's scared of dogs, it was really cool he let you keep the puppy in the house while you look for a new owner. I 
guess I'll just go back to cleaning. I'm so exhausted. I wish Chi was here to cook us something delicious. I thought I saw you eating earlier. I'm not counting that meal because I couldn't fully enjoy it while worrying about home. I'm sure he's so lonely he doesn't even know what to do with himself. Except, I've sent him several messages, but no response. Maybe you sent too many? Well, so? I'm sure he'll reach out to you soon. Have a good night. Yeah, same to you. I feel hot. Hope I don't have a fever. I should get in bed. It's kind of creepy in here at night. <sighs> oh, man. Could have got some real work done, but naturally, now I come down with a stupid bug. No one's around. I'm freezing. This house is so empty. And everything's too still. I can't relax. <laughs> Unreal. I told him he didn't need to worry about me. You can call me anytime you need, okay? <sighs> hmm? Oh, I just missed Chihiro. <laughs> the person you have called is unavailable. Please hang up huh? and try again. <laughs> Don't be dumb. There's no reason to bother him at work just because you feel like you're dying. Ugh. I'll rest. It's not a big deal. It's just a little cold. I'm okay. If I sleep now, morning will come soon. What are you doing, young man? You're too sick to get out of bed. Are you trying to cook something? Some rice porridge for my sick boy. I hope you're hungry because it's almost ready. Oh, oh maybe you should use the rice cooker next time. <laughs> Aren't you worried you'll be late for work? I took the day off to be with you. A little cold isn't that big of a deal. Listen up. If you underestimate a little cold, it could come back to bite you. Less worrying and more rest. But wait. Please. I'd do anything to have you here with me. Mom. Everything will be fine. There's no need to worry. Chihiro? Are you feeling all right? Uh. Huh? Ah! I think you have a fever. When did you get sick? Easy. Taxi. And it only took me three hours. A taxi? How much did that cost? Ugh, you're insane. You realize how ridiculous that is? You called me. Isn't that right? <laughs> then I couldn't reach you. So that's why you came home? It was just a phone call. Uh. I'm glad you came back. Yes, me too. Oh, yeah. I still have to thank him. The dog. <gasps> I'm sorry. You really wanted it. Don't worry about it. Not like I have time to take care of a dog when I'm always cleaning up after you. Oh, I see. I apologize for all the trouble. Listen, it means a lot that you let the dog stay here at all. So thank you. Uh, it was nothing. <laughs> oh, good morning. I hope you're hungry because this rice porridge is almost ready. You kidding me? Is this what it's like to have deja vu? <laughs> Seems like your fever went down. What a relief. What about work? Aren't they expecting you to get back there? Oh, uh, it's no problem. I handled everything. You got out of it after all. <laughs> if the shoe fits. 
I'm leaving the rest to you. When push comes to shove, feel free to use this if you need. <sighs> when he gets home, he's going to be really angry with me, so I need you to play up the sickness, okay? <laughs> no way! All you did was gripe about that trip. You probably got me sick on purpose! What are you saying? I'm the innocent one here. Sure you are. You owe both of us an apology.